Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the Summer of Carnage right here on the Venom Vlog. And before we get into Absolute Carnage number one, because I know some of you guys are like, you know, hey, where's your review at? I wanted to give people more time to read it because I, I notice sometimes when I do like discussion videos or, you know, I don't really do reviews, but this time I'm going to actually try to do an actual review, but it'll be a spoiler review. And I just felt the book was good overall. If you saw my, uh, you know, tweet the other day, my Instagram post of like my non-spoiler review, uh, basically my quote is that the movie or the, the book absolute carnage is uh, it effing ruled uh, is basically what I said and so uh, I didn't want to say more than that and I didn't want to dive into it and we're gonna do like a review video and then maybe a discussion video separate uh, so we'll we'll see we'll see how I feel because uh, there's a lot to unpack in absolute carnage number one so I want to give you guys more time to read it uh, so I know at the end of my last episode of the journey to Cletus or the journey of Cletus Cassidy that uh, that I would do it in this episode but again I just wanted to give you guys just a little bit more time and what helped me make that decision was that a lot of movie news came out. So I don't want to waste any more time here. You'll get Absolute Carnage very soon, probably over the weekend or early next week. So that way you guys have a few days to read it without me spoiling anything because it's awesome. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel because on that episode, I will give away the digital code uh, for that comic as well. So, uh, you know, we'll have, you know, you can out there you know, get a free copy just by watching my video and I'll give it away up front. So that way I don't spoil the comic for you before you read it. You can get the digital code, read it, and then watch my review. So, uh, yeah, so today, our news is, uh, this actually came yesterday, or two days ago now, on August 6th, uh, from Andy Serkis. So Andy Serkis is doing a couple interviews right now. Obviously, he is announced officially as the director for Venom 2, which I'm very excited for, and I was kind of pulling for him uh, more than the other guys, even though I like the other guys' work. I thought Andy might bring what we need to this franchise. I felt like out of all three of those directors, he was the one who could bring what we need, which is uh, better characterization for people outside of Tom Hardy, because I thought Tom really committed to the role of Venom, but I wanted to learn more about Eddie Brock, uh, and so I think Andy could bring that. I want to learn more about the symbiotes. I want Carnage to be handled very carefully, and I think Andy's the perfect guy to do that, uh, not just from a directing standpoint, but as an actor as well. So he's making the rounds right now doing interviews and uh, he did talk about some, you know, some nuggets of information out there and some quotes here uh, that he said, you know, where people were asking him, hey, like, you know, where are you at in the process? And he's like, well, and here's a quote from him. He says, I'm right at the beginning stages. Uh, I've got some very clear ideas about the journey I'd like to see visually and how we can take the characters into another dimension. Um, and obviously it doesn't mean like an actual another dimension as far as I know. Uh, <laughs> they're not going to another dimension, uh, but I think what he means is, you know, adding more layers to them, adding more characterization to them um, and and really fleshing them out uh, and not just, you know, and making the battle between Venom and Carnage uh, something we all want to see. You know, like I, I, I bet he knows the importance of these two fighting each other. I mean, we've almost gotten like five different Venom movies before the one we got. And most of those scripts were Venom versus Carnage. And for whatever reason, uh, they decided to push Carnage off of the first one, tease him, uh, because they wanted to build a franchise. And I thought, oh, that that was a big mistake, because I was like, everybody wants to see Venom versus Carnage, and you're never guaranteed anything in this world. So in the first movie, it, it seemed silly to me to not do Carnage in the first one, even though it makes sense, it's a lot to set up. You've got to set up Cletus, you got to set up Eddie. They wanted to set up Eddie first, get the ground, you know, get, hit the ground running with him and at least give you some things with Eddie so that way you have a nice foundation and hopefully build off of that in the second movie and then spend time with, you know, Cletus Cassidy and Carnage in the second movie. So I'm hoping that's what he means is by, you know, really exploring these characters. Um, and obviously the visual thing, I'm really excited to see what he brings to the table because I imagine there's going to be some redesigns. I'm sure Venom will still have that big stature. Um, and, and be, you know, huge and, and tower over people. But I'm thinking really with Carnage, he has a chance here because we did not even get a peak of Carnage in the first movie. We only saw Cletus Cassidy in his jail cell. So I imagine that he's going to do some really crazy, awesome things with mocap uh, and bring Carnage to life in a very cool way. I cannot wait to see the design because the cool thing about Carnage is he didn't have a spider design on this chest. So there's like, as long as he's red with some black veins through him, for the most part, like he they're gonna get the look they're gonna nail it as long as they stick to that as long as he's not blue for no reason at all um that you know he's gonna be great and uh, and i think andy circus being the guy who's you know helming that and making those decisions along with his uh, visual effects team uh, i think is gonna be fantastic so i'm really excited for that uh they also asked him about the story and he said you know tom is very involved with the writing with kelly marcel which is something we've talked about already on this channel i mentioned way back a couple months ago when kelly marcel was announced as the writer uh, obviously we know tom is a producer 
culture of this franchise and he holds it very dear to his heart and i know that personally because he told me that when we when i met him uh when we did the screening for the first movie and he said you know i really hope this movie does well and it succeeds financially uh because uh you know i want to really cut into this character i want to explore him and i want to play him you know for for many years if i can and there's so many more stories we can tell with him and they can tell that tom on some level probably with the first movie that's why he brought kelly in he was like i'm taking over you know i'm not taking over i'm not i'm not speaking for him but he's like he's like i you know he was acting in the movie but he also signed on to produce and he wanted to make this better and so when he got the script he's like i'm not happy with the script i want to bring in kelly who i know is a talented writer and I want to bring her in to help punch up some of these things. And uh, and so it's hard to say from the first movie what she brought and what, what was already there and everything. Uh, obviously, Tom's performance is what most of us loved about the first movie. But I think we can all agree that the story really needed help. And I think by having her just be the clear voice on the story with Tom, you know, feeding her ideas. And obviously, Tom's son, who's a big Venom fan, we're probably going to get, you know, some nice fan service and fanboy moments uh, and fangirl moments because his son, uh, you know, is a fan and might, you know, whisper in his ear like, oh, try this or do this or look at this page from this comic where Venom fights Carnage. And having that is really great. And I, I, I see better things in the future for this franchise. And that's why I was so excited for the first movie doing so well. And I kept saying, I hope, you know, Sony learns a lesson from, you know, and here's our feedback about what we didn't like of the first movie so that they can only improve and just get better and better. And so far with Kelly Marcel as the writer and Tom helping out um, and, you know, feeding some story ideas and bouncing ideas off of her and developing the characters uh, with her. I think that's really smart so they can get it all out of the way on the page so that way when they show up on set, Tom has a clear idea of what story and where they're going to go with Eddie Brock in this movie. And then having Andy there to facilitate that and bring that vision from the page to the screen, I think is going to be fantastic. I'm so excited for this, as you can tell. Um, and uh, he said, you know, what I've learned, uh, you know, Andy, or Andy went on to say, like, what I've learned from directing Full Stop is you're working with an extraordinary team of highly talented people and to create an atmosphere where everyone is able to do their work to 150% hardworking guy here and uh and that shows in his body of work i mean that guy gives it 110 percent every time 150 percent it seems uh every single time and uh this article i'm reading from is from slash film so i will put a link to slash films article down below so make sure you check it out and read the full thing there and the last thing i'll end on is him saying i've known tom for many years always admired him hugely as an actor and a producer we've always wanted to work together directly i'm deeply excited to work with tom hardy and to work with the great actors who are involved in it and we will talk about one of those actors or actresses uh, in the next uh, episode because uh, we got some news from uh, michelle williams herself so i'm very excited because as you know i was excited when they cast her and we got some exciting news that we'll talk about with her in the next episode but for this one i just wanted to get these uh, you know uh, this topic out there because some of you guys asked me about it if you actually watch my video where i mentioned andy circus is uh you know taken over as director officially you'll also notice in that video i mentioned tom hardy is co-writing the script or you know having ideas and bouncing ideas off of kelly marcel while she's writing the script so i already mentioned that and some people were like dude you got to talk about this you got to talk about it. you got to mention this and i'm like i already kind of did i know i only talked about it for like 10 seconds but uh trust me like a lot of this information um, I, you know, was aware of and I was, you know, try to feed it to you guys uh, slowly so I don't have to make full episodes on things. But you guys are like, no, make a full episode, uh, which is great. I'm glad you guys are demanding content again uh, because, you know, we hit a little lull there after the movie came out on Blu-ray and we were just focusing on comics and we didn't get a lot of movie news. So this is nice where the train is running again and uh, and I'm so excited to be on another journey with you guys uh, with Venom because we've already done, what, almost 400 episodes now. We're on episode 385 right now um, and we're nearing 400 and it's so exciting. We got guests coming up. We got interviews coming up. I'm really trying to branch out and try uh, different things on this channel and bring new things each season. Uh, every time we do another 150 episodes, I'm hoping I can bring new things each time. So hopefully with season four, after we get past episode 450 and we start uh, with 451 as season four of the show, we'll get into the Flash Thompson stuff and hopefully we can score more interviews and bring new types of content to this channel as well while still keeping it in the world of symbiotes. So let me know what you think of this information down below. I really appreciate your feedback as always. Uh, thank you guys for you know wanting me to cover this uh, but the next episode i'm very excited because this i already kind of covered the next episode is actual new information to me and i can't wait to talk about it so i'll see you guys over there thanks so much for watching the show as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll see you in the future peace